All right, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Kervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 125, Highlight Open Items After Four Days. Now, today's question is sent in uh, by Shamir. And th hey, this is funny on the Mr. Excel podcast this week. Uh, Shamir also sent in the uh, How do we uh, globally change all the word Fox in all cells to red? So Shamir is getting a two for this week. How can I highlight any date after four days? Uh, but if in the next column I put any date or text, there's no need to highlight after four days. So here's uh, some sample data. We have, you know, dates. This must be like the date that something arrived. And then if uh, they must be invoices, all right? So if something was paid or phoned in, we don't need to highlight it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select all these cells. I'm going to set up conditional formatting. That's Alt O D. Alt O D. We're going to create a new rule and we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And this formula has to be written uh, as if we're talking about the top left hand corner cell in the selection A3. So we have two things that have to happen. So equal and start with that. Uh, the first thing is we're going to compare today, open paren, close paren, that's uh, we'll return today's date, minus A3 and see if that's greater than 4. If that's greater than 4, then our first condition is true. And I'll note that I'm recording this on May 22nd, May 22nd, uh, even though it's going to be put out on, what, May 24th, um, working a couple of days ahead. All right, so that's our first condition. Then the second condition is if there's something over here in B3, then we don't want it to be true. So I'm going to ask for is blank of B3 and final close parentheses. Too bad they don't give us a color coding of the parentheses in here. I've gotten used to looking for that last parenthesis to be black, um, but it looks like we're balanced here. And then format, just uh, go in and choose some sort of a format. Let's uh, mark those in yellow and click OK. All right. so. Again, the condition or the formula here, conditional formatting formula, has to be talking about the top left hand corner cell, uh, which normally is the active cell uh, in your data. We'll click OK, click OK, and you'll see that uh, any of these old items are marked. Uh, the new items, this was yesterday or two days ago, is not marked. And then if, let's say, we call and we, uh, we get this one paid, uh, as soon as I enter paid, uh, the second condition no longer is true and the conditional formatting goes away. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, I love this formula here. And, and here's the crazy thing. My formula is going to be really similar to this, but totally different. Now, actually, I kind of like the way you did this. So this is not the way I did it. You took today, which is a serial number, minus the date there. If I hit F9, you can see, oh, yeah, that tells you how many days ago this date was. And then you just compare it to the 4, Control-Z. Uh, and you use the is blank, which checks if that's empty. All right, I'm going to come over to this sheet, Mike. Now, instead of highlighting in the cells and using the dialog box to create my formula, I'm going to come over here to the cells. You know, I always have a hard time creating this, and it's easier to see and, and uh, make sure it's working when you're in the cell. All right, similar formula. I'm going to use the and. But check this out. I thought of this a totally different way. I said, hey, is the serial number there less than or equal to? And then I did today minus the 4. So I actually took today, subtracted four, and then compared the two. Now I kind of like Mr. Excel's uh, way of doing it because he he didn't have to type that equal sign. Now I'm another thing about this one. I'm not going to put parentheses around this because that math operator will calculate before any math operation will calculate before the comparative operators. Comparative operators happen at the bottom of Excel's uh, order of operations. So that'll check. Um, the date, and then comma, the second logical test. Instead of using is blank, I'm going to say, hey, is that cell equal to double quote, whoops, equal to double quote, double quote. Now, that's a null text string, but that will check to see if the cell is empty. All right, so when I Control Enter, it'll give me the same uh, pattern of trues and falses. Now, I can copy from here and highlight, but check this out, that active cell you can have the active cell anywhere, but you better build the formula from the point of view of that active cell. So I'm actually going to scoop this out, 
from the middle. Like I'd never do this when I'm building something, but let's just check it out and see if it works. So if the active cell is right there, Alt-O-D, Alt-N, arrow, 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 tab, and Control-V. So it doesn't matter as long as that formula is from the point of view of that cell. I'll add the same formatting as Mr. Excel. Click OK, click OK. So we get our conditional formatting. If I come up here, bloop, so it looks like it's working. Now, um, one other thing about the two things, Mr. Excel used is blank. I used equals double quote, double quote. They both are awesome, but they do different things. Sometimes you want one, sometimes you want the other. Is blank is cool because it actually checks for only an empty cell. If you have a formula delivering a null text string, uh, it isn't empty. Even though it's, it's a text string with zero length, it's still something. That cell is not empty. Whereas this is asking the question, are you an empty cell or are you a null text string? So that's a difference between those. Um, all right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, Mike, you're right, exactly the same and completely different. Uh, you're right, I didn't need parentheses there, but my rule, my rule of thumb is if you're not sure if you need parentheses or not and you can't remember the order of operations, it's always better to put them in. It doesn't hurt to have them there. Uh, if you are too lazy like I was this morning to look them up, is blank or uh, equal quote, quote, you know, both of those are going to fail when someone comes along and clears out the uh, cell by just typing a space and enter. You have to be really careful that uh, you know you always press the delete key to clear that cell. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.